Whoa, welcome back to more Master Duel. Welcome to the channel if you're new. Welcome. <laughs> I didn't know what else to say, but today we have our water deck. You know, it's winter, at least where I am in some other countries. Sometimes it's not. They don't have seasons like that. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just rambling. But let's just get straight into the video. So I'm going to go over the deck list a little bit, talk about it. And if you, but if you want to get straight to the replay, go right ahead. This is just for those who like seeing the deck list profile or whatever. I don't think this deck has went through any changes, so... Well, since last time, well, so let's get right to it. Alright, we still are running the Deep Sea Diva combo bit, I'm not gonna lie. If they keep adding more good waters, this combo might have to go away because, um... We already have decent normal summon options. Uh, which is Diva into Nepta Abyss, throw away a couple Dragoons, and then bring out Lapis Dragon. That's their combo. And then we have some cards that like help extend, like this hidden gem and uh, Ice Dray Tremora. We also have our Gishki stuff, like Focused Aqua Mirror, uh, Illusion, the Ritual Spells, the Ritual Monster, who's really good, really great boss monster, and then the mini Gishkis that bring us the spell or the monster or either. So yeah, <laughs> that's the Gishki stuff. Have a couple ice barriers in here because we still run ice barrier. Have a little goatee package, which is just the goatee and then a couple synchros. Uh, ice barrier, of course. Uh, revealer. I do have the ice barriers at two because the medallion will be at three. And this, this deck is already jam packed as it is. So having medallion at three, we can pick which ice barriers I have at the moment, you know. Revealer, though. Good. Starter. Speaker. Good. Special summons. Silence Sea Needle. Free water. All the time. Ice Jade. Ice Jade ran. She's crazy. Free level 10 Saint Girl every time. Very free. Very free. Uh, Foolish Burial Goods. Throw away Ice Barrier. Who can give us an Ice Jade ran or Tremora or any other level 5 or something we need. Or even the, the Ritual Monster, right? Uh, Focused Aquamere. We talked about. Oh, yeah, all right, we went through everything. Now the extra deck. We got a couple ice barriers like Brionic. Yep. We have a charge warrior for before we get locked into waters, which might not be a lot. So, but you know, it could be an extra draw. It could be good. But we could we have Coral Dragon just in case we do get locked into waters. You know, we could draw for him. This is the Goaty, and so is this one. So, and then we have a couple white auras because they could be pretty useful. This aura whale is used in most goatee stuff anyway. Going second, popping all attack position monsters. Pretty nice, pretty nice, pretty nice. Of course, Trishula. Ice barrier boss. You know that, you know that. Dragite, really good level A synchro. Ravenous, if not, just use him for his draw effect. And then a couple level 10s because they're free, like Cheng Ying and Ice J Jameer. And then Trishula Zero, of course, the other boss monster of the ice barriers. And then a couple of marine test links. Bubble Reef's not too important, but um, Anemone is a good, uh, it can also bring back your Gishkis. It's a, it's a full, what? No, it's a monster reborn, kind of, for 1,500 or less monsters. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the replay, please enjoy! All right, this hand is not the best because we don't want Lapis Dragon in our starting hand. So now it's a dead card. Be careful with that too. Another reason why the Deep Sea Diva stuff might go away. Oh, we're going against uh, new bells. Cool. It's a water video, so make sure to stay hydrated, everyone. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right, so we're—I know what they're doing right now. So we have the advantage because we're familiar with their game. What the heck is that? Wait, I've never seen that card before. What the heck? Should I look at it again? Why not? Do we care about what they're doing right now? I'm waiting for our turn. Choji the Trillion Hands. If this card is summoned, you can add one Ritual Monster and one Ritual Spell. But you'd have to Tribute Summon him. I mean, I guess you could, because they're, they're easy to bring out. It's our turn, though! Revealer of the Ice Beria will come out. Let's see if we can bait them anyway. We threw away Dragoon, and she got negated immediately. Look at that. That's fine. You can, you can negate the Revealer. However, you didn't notice what I threw away was a Dragoon who will give me the vision of the Gishkis and then use the focused Aqua Mirror to give us the Shadow. Use Gishki Shadow to give us Necromirror. And it's a non-target. 
Use Gishki Vision to give us Eevee Gishki. And now I will use your monster to bring out my boss! <laughs> ah, that hurt. That's a lot of damage. We're gonna bring back the Dragoon, but something went... Oh, that's a crazy... What? Activate only when a ritual summon monster is ritual summoned. Your opponent cannot activate any spells or traps. That's crazy. That's crazy how I made that trap work for him. He's running some weird cards. Okay. They're still trying to get cooking, but we're not going to let them. The fish will overpower the hunter in this one. Or the chefs. Wh whoever's the one that does the fishing to get the... You know, you know what I mean. Gorilla Base makes a reappearance. Alright, they're getting their plays off. We haven't used our negate. And, uh... The Aquamira didn't... Didn't activate because of the trap. If you wanted to know. Because, of course, I thought that. I didn't read the trap when it first happened. Oh, you run that? I run that in the, my other deck. I mean, I guess... It, I mean, that's the only level 6 they have, though. I feel like it'd be a brick. We're not gonna let them... We're not gonna let him transform into the one that draws. We can't allow that. They're gonna get some still. Oh, they're gonna link. Anima? Damn. Good play. Good play. Clear the field, okay. Good play, good play, good play. And you're gonna draw more off of it, okay. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, but we just drew the out. I mean, I guess there wasn't really, you know, much of a problem. Either way, we could've did that and brought back Ivigishki because we're getting Shadow back. We sent Shadow back so we can get Necromira. Yep, we're gonna take a lot of burn damage here, but we're gonna use Ice Jade Rains. Maybe we're trying to bait them to see if they have something. Oh no, we're just gonna go straight into Jameer! And then Necromirror, get rid of your Relinquish to bring back my boss! My goodness. Oh my gosh, we're at 2,000. Jeez. It looked like we'd be losing this. But now Revealer will throw away Zujin. Oh, we're gonna use all three. We're bringing out another boss monster. Who could it be? It's Trishula! <laughs> Let me know if that ever gets annoying. Banish, banish, and banish again, Trishula. And now end it. Oh, but we're gonna end it with the MVP of this one. Yep. Hey, we brought out Trishula, Jameer, Ivigishki. Literally the three archetypes in this thing. Not bad, right? Not bad. Like, comment, and subscribe. It'd mean a lot. Have a great one, y'all. Have a great one. Peace. See you in the next one.